This is the sinking funds tracker from Pennies Not Perfection. It is a spreadsheet that allows you to keep track of your sinking funds by each category of sinking fund by entering your transactions and then having the calculations done for you. It makes it really simple to keep all of your sinking funds in one account because you have the spreadsheet that keeps everything separate. You can also use multiple accounts. I love doing that myself, but this just gives you an idea of how much you have saved in each sinking fund, how close you are to the goal, and when you might hit that goal with what you're working with. So to set this up, you basically go to the setup tab, you change the currency, and then you select the currency that you want to use. Then you will go to enter your sinking funds info. So you're going to enter the name, the goal amount, the starting amount, and the start date and the goal date. So this gives the spreadsheet all of the information you need to actually calculate everything for you about when you will hit your goal and how far you have left to actually hit that goal. So this helps you see your target monthly savings because based on the start date and the goal date on the sinking funds table, the spreadsheet will automatically calculate how much you need to save every single month to hit that goal. So it's very important to have a goal date for your sinking fund so that you know how much to put in each month. This is the best part of this spreadsheet. For me, I don't have to worry about doing the calculations in my head or writing it down or bringing out a calculator. I know that each sinking fund will be calculated for me here. So you can always come back to this table that gives you the monthly contribution amount every single time you are making a contribution that month, or you can set up automatic contributions based on the calculation that it gives you. Either way, you'll be able to hit your goal by the desired date. So on the transactions tab, you enter your transactions by putting the date, the sinking fund that you're contributing to, and then the amount. The notes column is there, but it's also optional. So you don't have to put anything in there, but you can if you need to. The sinking funds dashboard is the best part of this spreadsheet. It is done automatically for you, it's calculated for you based on the starting information that you put in the setup tab and the transactions that you put in that tab. So everything that is from the other tabs is calculated here. You don't have to do anything. This is just a visual look for you so that you can tell how much you've already contributed, how much you have to go on your goals. At the top, it tells you the total goal amount, how much you have set up that you totally want to save for all of your sinking funds included, and then the current balance that you have, and then how much you have left to save. So you have a real quick snapshot at the top, and then each sinking fund itself individually is shown below that. So you have the name of the sinking fund at the top, and then you have the goal date, the amount, the current balance, the amount left to save, and then the starting amount. So everything is really quickly shown right there for each sinking fund, which makes it so easy to know where you stand and then how much you have left to contribute. So you can also prioritize things based on the spreadsheet. Having all of my sinking funds laid out visually like this, showing me how much I have saved already and how much I have left to save has been a game changer for me. And I think it will help you as well. I hope you enjoy this spreadsheet.